In this video, we're going to do a thermal stress analysis of a disk and a brick. First, let's select structure template. Check thermal under additional physics. Click create simulation process. Browse to geometry. This geometry was prepared in ISIS space claim. This imprint represents the pad area. This area represents where the pad touched the disk during the break. As noticed on the simulation process, there's a green check mark beside the geometry, which means the geometry is ready. Let's click on the mesh. Generate the mesh with the default mesh setup. Expand statistic. We can see there's 25,800 nodes. Let's add mesh control. Add body sizing. Select this volume. Put the mesh size 0.003 meter. Click the mesh. Generate the mesh. Here we got a smooth final mesh. The number of nodes is 27,000. Click on the physics. There's a tension required sign here. The reason is that we haven't defined any boundary condition yet. Add convection. Select this two surface. Put the heat transfer coefficient 5 watt per square meter Celsius. Convection temperature 50 Celsius. Add another convection. Right mouse button. Select all surface. Press Ctrl key. Unselect these two surface. Heat transfer coefficient 10 watt per square meter Celsius. Convection temperature 30 Celsius. Click on the physics. We assume the friction between the pad and the disk generate the heat. We add heat flux on this four areas. We put 10 watt per square meter heat flux. Click on the physics. We assume this six hole are fixed. Add support. Select these six areas. Apply. Click on physics. We noticed the attention required sign is gone. We can see yellow lighting sign here, which means the solution is uh, ready to go. Before we run the simulation, let's click on the material assignment. Here we can see zero thermal strain reference temperature. By default, it's 22 Celsius. The temperature difference between the disk and the zero thermal strain reference temperature caused the disk to expand and local high stress on those constrained area. Expand the structure steel. We can see the material properties such as density, coefficient of thermal expansion, thermal conductivity, Young's module, Poisson ratio. You can put your own value in here, such as changing the Young's module. You can also click on the physics, add material property from the library. In this demo, we are going to use the default structure steel. Let's click on the results and run the simulation. By default, ANSYS M automatically generate three contour results for this thermal stress analysis, which are equivalent stress, displacement, and temperature. 
let's click on the temperature. Here we can see high temperature on this pad area due to the lower thermal convection coefficient and higher ambient temperature. Click on equivalent stress, we can see local high stress on those bold holes. Expand the appearance, we can change the coloring from smooth to banded to have a clear view. We can also change the contour range from local to user specified. For example, we can change the maximum uh, stress value to 50 MPa. Those to say those red area represents stress value bigger than 50 MPa. We can also add contour result after solution is done. Zoom in, select this surface and choose equivalent stress. Evaluate results. As you can see, we got equivalent stress on this shaft hole. In this demo, we show how to do a static thermal stress analysis. Thanks for watching.